Now in this video, we're going to look at the TLE2426. It's an integrated circuit, but it's in the same standard packaging of the common transistor, the TO92 package, the uh, basic transistor that comes in learning electronics kits and stuff. So in any case, it has uh, three terminals. What it is, it's a virtual ground, so you create a ground instead of the negative side of the power supply rail splitter. So you got the uh, power of the power supply, you're splitting that. You're cutting the voltage in half right there. So the point of that, you declare that ground now. And so if you got an 18 volt power supply, then you have positive nine volts in relationship to ground, as well as negative nine volts in relationship to ground. That makes it so that you can sink or source current. So most of the time, we're sinking current into ground from positive side of the power supply. But now we have the option of the ground being the source of current for the negative side of the power supply. And we did a longer video of the uh, nine volt battery, but we'll just do a refresher here. You can see that with a single nine volt battery, we can get ground if we declare the negative side of the battery ground. And then the positive side of the battery, there's a nine volt difference right there. But if we put two batteries in series, two nine volt batteries, and declare where they connect together as ground, then we will have positive nine volts on that side, and then on negative volts on that side. So it works the same with the integrated circuit. Now, the integrated circuit can only sink and source a recommended amount of 20 milliamps of current, whereas the batteries could do a lot more. So you may have to actually use batteries if you need a stronger dual supply. For the demonstration, we're just going to do multimeter measurements. So we got here a TLE2426, and the uh, left pin there is the output. So we're going to swivel it this way. That was the uh, flat side facing us. Now the flat side is to the right. The output is down there. Common pin, the middle pin to the negative side of the power supply, and then the input up there to the positive side of the power supply. The power supply, we got set to 18 volts as you can see on the schematic right there, and the power supply there. Now we got the multimeter set to measure voltage, so we'll see again 18 volts at the power supply. But we declare whatever circuitry that we're wiring together at this point is ground. So then in relationship to that, the uh, positive supply there is a positive 9 volts, whereas the uh, negative supply is negative 9 volts, as you can see there. So that's how the uh, rail splitter works instead of having to buy a dual power supply or whatnot. Again, this is only intended to sync or source up to a uh, 20 milliamps of current, 40 milliamps maximum, but they should still keep it below 20 milliamps. I always review the data sheet for all the particulars of uh, any component you're using if it comes with the data sheet. So in any case, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can, that helps out the most. I have links down in the description, but I appreciate you just watching videos, so thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.